hey, I asked if you were available for that project and you said you weren't, but then I saw on social media that you were at the beach. What gives? Oh, yeah. That was in my free time. You don't get to tell me what to do when I'm spending my hard-earned free time any way that I want to. I can look at my phone or go to a movie or go on a hike or stare at the wall. I can go to brunch or a stroll in the park to a fancy museum or stare at the wall in my free time when my boss is me, myself, and I. I'll be spending my hard-earned free time. When people won't stop cutting across your lawn, set up an automatic sprinkler. There's something rotten in Denmark. Fox News host Trish Reagan has made a story in which she compares Denmark to Venezuela. Denmark like Venezuela, has stripped people of their opportunities. Okay, let's just clarify a few things. Trish, you're wrong. You can't compare Denmark to Venezuela. We have a welfare state in our country. This means that our society provides opportunity for people. It doesn't strip people of possibilities in their life. And no one wants to work. This is a real problem. This is not true. According to the OECD, Denmark rates 11 places higher than the US unemployment rate. The difference of course being that in Denmark people are paid a decent wage. School's free. University's free. That's lovely. Actually it is. But you see, not only is school free, they actually pay you. Not bad, eh? That is not bad. That means that it's not the size of your parents' bank account that decides whether or not you get an education. It's your hard work, it's your talent, it's your motivation. Well, you know what happens then? Nobody graduates from school, they just stay in school. <sighs> Of course, people graduate. According to World Economic Forum, on a list of the best educated populations, we rank number six. Quite a bit better than the US, sorry. Nowadays, all the kids graduating from school in Denmark, they wanna start cupcake cafes. <laughs> I wish that was correct because I love cupcakes. Unfortunately, it's not. It could be though, because according to Forbes list, over countries with best opportunities for businesses, Denmark rates far better than the US. So Trish, pretty much everything you said is untrue, or as your beloved president would put it, you are fake news. Every human being that you don't know on a personal level is not real. They're all NPCs and you can say whatever you want to them. Watch this. Hey, how's it going? Just here to drop off coupons. Perfect. Sweet. Did you hear the big news? Danny DeVito got an OnlyFans account. He did not. Yeah. 20, he makes so much money. $25 a month. I'll tell you right now, it is worth the money. Is it really? Oh, that man is short and thick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good Monday night, huh? It's 11.30 in the morning on a Thursday. I didn't, give him, I didn't even give him coupons. Give him the instruction manual to my vacuum. So I'm on my lunch break at this very moment and a man <laughs> approaches me and you know he's like I couldn't help but notice that you were filming me um, and I just wanted to come over here and let you know that if you were attracted to me all you had to do was say so and he goes on to say that you know um, he didn't mind that I was filming him uh, he's actually very flattered but he just wanted to come over and introduce himself the look on his face when I had to tell him sir I was not filming you I was filming a one-footed pigeon in front of you because look at this little man he's only got one foot but he's living his best life he's got but a nubbin hang on let me get the other side let me get a good angle hello pigeon with but a little nub only one foot who did this to ya who did it Anyways, I have never seen a man humbled so quickly in all my life.